will I ever get this thing compacted? Oh my goodness. Oh, welcome back, folks. Yay, it's compacted. I'm getting out of here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, folks, here on Western Wilds. Your host was not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, we have, if I can see that, it looks like to me, two million, twelve, two million, twelve thousand eight hundred and seventy-three liters of chaff, and we're going to blanket the silo. Woohoo! <coughs> Excuse me. Got uh, too happy there. It looks like all of it got covered. Woohoo! Yay! Even a spot over here. Oh wow. But anyway, uh, I tried the, the bulldozer. The bulldozer didn't really work because it had narrow tracks. But these big old beefy tires right here, they, they worked. Of all this rock. We're going to take the rock down here. Or well, stones, I should say. Because we need them in two different places. Y'all seen inside? Ooh, big old fire extinguisher. Big old truck. Big old trick. Oh, I gotta move that one thing off. We're gonna see what the stones look like in here first before we dump this. Uh, gotta get some lime made because we gotta put lime down on our fields. Oh, our lime's full on, on the discharge end, so that's that's a good thing. We need some more water in here. We're gonna go ahead and dump these stones in here. Oh, we need stones down here too. All right. Uh, yeah, water methane's good. Um, stones. Let's put it in gold first. Uh, start this bad boy up. Make sure I don't need no more methane. Yeah, I looked like the fool in the last episode about not knowing where to put stuff and all that. Oh. The water trailer up it's gonna be next of course all that's full but anyway shut that off and we'll get back in this truck pull on up down here now we're getting a pile of gold there our gold's getting pretty there we go oh it's gonna take all of it Oh wow. I'm gonna shut that off right now. They don't need it back down that other place. We have quite a bit of a thing here. Let's see. Two, four, five, six. Six pallets of gold already, folks. Uh, let's go check out the harvest. Ah, I forgot I was circling through and uh this is the six meter logs. They're just falling off the side. Good thing the straps held good. Pretty good size load. We're going to see what they bring. 48,680 with environmental score 829. Now, in the last episode, um, in the last episode, it was 39,180. And uh, that was for four meter logs. This was six meter logs, what you just saw. Uh, I got another load of six meter logs. I went kind of overboard. So we're gonna sell one more. And uh, but I'm gonna write that down in my book. And of course it's kind of hard to vary cause, well, you know, you, you don't know how many you're gonna get on there. Of course, six meters, you're gonna have more wood, so. But uh, after that, we're going to go for 12 meters to speed up the process. But I'll meet y'all back over at the, the combine. All right, so we're, we're not at the combine right yet, but we're going to load some logs up. Hope everything goes right. Try to get all the ones we got on here. Maybe I have to get a little bit more. So shut that off. Pull up just a little bit. Okay. Let's 
strap these down. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've been plowing too and uh, getting some of the stumps up. Alright, there's another one in. Oh, that was a big old log. Oh, it was switched. I want it to try to... Come on. See, that's why I shut mine off, because, uh... Yeah, you never know when it's gonna... There's a little one. This is. Oh, that's why. There we go. And lift it up. I probably done shut off. Let me turn it back on. Oh, there it goes. By the time I got in. Uh, B to shut that back off. We're gonna strap all this down. I'm still on the front one load. What does the little period do? Uh, nothing. Star. Oh, I hit record. Record button is a star, which shows where it's going. So, yeah, that's why. That's why it's doing that. All right, let's see what we can get here. We're almost loaded. That's good. All loading on the back now. We, we can take that. Okay, still going. Let's get this in here turned around. There we go. I'm going to change sides now. Oh, to change sides. It shuts it off too. That way you don't have to worry about it. Pull up here. And hit B. Alright. That looks like all of them. And we probably could use one more tree, but we're going to probably take this to sell. But first, we got to get the combine going. Go ahead and shut this off. We're going to go over here. Where I turn our tractor on. And we gotta get this in here. Um, our combine over is full too. And I just wanna get that bunker silo uh, done before I went any further. I'm gonna have to go on the other side. That's what I was thinking. Oh! And my neighbor slash my uncle is hammering, cutting, and everything else. Oh yeah, there we go. If you zoom in, you can tell it's working. And all I had to do is nothing. And it's growing, so that's good. Which I think I popped out or something like that. I can't really remember, but... Oh, she's a rocking. Don't come knocking her. How's that go? If it's a rocking, don't come knocking. Alright, good. We're going to go ahead and throw that baby back in because these power lines. And our baler over has a breakdown. Uh, uh, Colin is over there along with uh, Mr. Yankee and Dan was on the combine Dan and Christy was taking turns alright whoa alright I'm going to shut that off now I'm on the wrong side of getting the combine but hey I like it on Farm Sim 22, your combine has to be started in order to unload. And that makes it more realistic. Yeah, it does. 
but we got a little ways to go and night time's creeping up on us. I'll turn the time down a little bit more. But I'm gonna let one of them go ahead and be doing this. We're gonna get back to uh, taking that load off while we're waiting. All right. Go, our worker. Who we got in? Oh, Christy's back in there working. Okay. We'll let her take care of that. We're gonna pop over to the truck. All right, I lied. We're over here by the tractor, checking on them. They said, "Go ahead and start it up. Give her a try. Let's pop on some lights here. See if this bad boy will work." Oh yeah. Yeah, we're in we're in business now, folks. We got our uh, AR that has the uh, tanks on it. Figure we'll give it a try. Almost can take. We probably could, but that roller needs to be about right there. That way we know we get it all up. And one thing about it, I think we got our flatbed trailer down. Whoa! Oh, oh I'm going to run over a bale too at that. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm tearing the bale up probably. I told him I didn't need to be driving this. It might break again. Oh yeah. I think they've done a good job of getting it fixed. Yeah, I know I don't have access. Oh, I dropped the bell out perfectly. Alright, load our machine back down. I need GPS, really. Let's see if I can get it going while going down the road here. Or, <laughs> down the road. Down the field. There we go. It just helps out a lot. There's the only thing about it, I wish the combine would cross the road, but it doesn't, so. Yeah. That's one of those things, you know. Don't I oh, will run over stalk of cotton. Alright, um let's see. I'm gonna bring you back here in a second, folks. I still haven't figured out what's causing this folks. Anybody knows, please let me know. It is it won't do it. Go ahead and unload. Why I'm at it. Well, that's unloading. Get back here and move the service truck out of the way. Yeah, I got work lights in the back too. All right, that's unloaded. Now, the only thing about it, they, they, the combine doesn't cross the road because it thinks it's two different fields. I've been trying to just keep them up <clears throat> uh, for uh, the Baylor situation. Okay, let's get the. Uh, go ahead. Well, we still got half. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and go unload. Might as well, right? I guess this tractor still see hoppers from on that side, so I got go on this side. We gotta get that tree down too. And like I said, these fields here pro well, won't be plowed up right away. We'll leave them for grass, see how they grow back and stuff. And uh, yeah. Uh oh, I see the hopper filling up. I'm empty. Right, we'll, we'll wait on that and come back. 
and uh, yeah, go from there. Um, get a little bit more of this done, folks, and I'll be right back. Uh, probably time to unload again if I can get under. Probably can't. So I need to go around that pole anyway. Was I be hired? Nah, no, I'm driving. I know I be hired people left and right, don't I? Gotta make sure we get all of our stuff. You know, a lot of people can record and play this as they want, but I've seen a lot of people that tries to do it realistically, like me, hit a pole. But, uh, yeah, you leave the combine running folks in real life. Uh, like, a lot of folks uh, do like this. They'll shut it off, come around, and start it back, and, and stuff like that. Or they'll leave the header down to shut the machine off. In real life, you don't do that. You leave the machine engaged all the time. we got uh, couldn't tell look like Christy um, let me in my charger thank you I didn't see what she oh okay she's fine uh, I'm gonna park this stretcher out of the way about right here you know I can't remember if I reset the bell counter on this before we started or not Current bell is 63. I don't think I did. Ain't that something? One, two, three. Back up a little bit. <sighs> oh well. We'll count them when we get them on the trailer, I guess. Yeah, you raise up, Danny, back up. Dun, 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 dun. So, um, I guess I need to give y'all the head up. There's a spot, a straw right there. Um, I am recording another uh, series of videos. Uh, Construction Simulator 22. Construction Simulator 22. Um, yeah. I don't know when I'm going to release them, but they are coming. And um, I hope y'all like them. Um, yeah, I probably will be seeing this on a Monday because I think today's Friday and I already got that video uh, out and about. So, uh, yeah. Thing also patched back there, too. All right, we're back on the street again. I'm gonna let her make one more round and then we're gonna catch up to her. Um, so I guess I'll bring y'all back for a little bit more. Uh, get on over a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, because I don't want too much of the nighttime stuff. And uh, we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, bringing a load of logs down here real quick. Well, everybody's caught up and we're at 494 35,656 with 648 environmental score bringing us 530,000 I think we need to uh, get a few things but I don't know it'd be tonight or, or in the next episode so alright finishing up this corner right here so Quit doing the uh, pole dancing with the fields here. That's sort of, you know, pole. And bouncing back and forth, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that didn't make no sense. So this is how they post to do it. Just leave it going and then raise the header up, spin around. Need to make a pass down through there, but we'll do that here in a minute. 
go ahead and get whoever started on this side. May or may not be Christy back in there. Let's see. Oh, no, it, it's Dan. Dan's driving the combine, okay. All right, Dan, you, go, you have at it. Um, get this tractor out. Uh, I was going to unload, but be all right. I'm parking on this other side over here. Finish getting this junk up. If we can get the baler fixed, that's broke down again. So yeah, I'm about to shut the lights off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring y'all back here in a little bit, folks. It's getting dark. Um, I'm gonna try to get this field finished. That way we can see how much uh, we got. So far, we got 29,755 liters. And, and uh, yeah, go ahead and shut that off for a minute. Oh, I got the hiccups. Oh, oh, okay. Mr. Yankee said it's good to go. I uh, don't know how long it's going to last, but it's it's ready to go. So, oh, hey, have to use my mouse button and the controller. One, two, three. Find out what it means to me. Woohoo! Maybe I don't need to be driving this. Maybe that's what's wrong with it. Now we are shooting out. Uh, I have to turn it off to show y'all here. I think. Maybe I can't. Yeah, 240 centimeter bells is what we're doing. Uh, figure out make the bigger bells. Maybe this thing can't handle the bigger bells. But it's it's not the baler itself. It's just the uh, where uh, the wings. Here, I'll get it out in a minute. It's the wings area right there. Right, there's the combine. Is it going to make a round? Oh, it's backing up. Okay, good. Give me time to get this up. And uh, we need to start picking up the bells because I want to show y'all that too. So, yeah, uh, I'll bring y'all back as soon as uh, we get done with everything. It's probably going to be way dark. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long night. Night harvest. Hey, I got the title. Ha! Ah! Canola Night Harvest. All right, folks, be right back. All right. All right, all right, folks. As you can see, at the bottom right corner down there, I am low on fuel. Very low on fuel. I'm going to go ahead and put about a quarter of a tank in it. Because we got to do the uh, soybeans when they get ready. And if you hear anything in the background, that's the dog. Bear. Decided he's ready to play. All right, now we still got more. We got uh, the auger wagon back there. Uh, where's the fuel tank? Right over here. Let's see if this will work. Uh, refuel harvester. Oh, good, 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 good. good. All right, we're going to stop right there and see what that gets us. But the combine's done. All right, well, for a little roughness with the dog uh, and my daughter. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Anyway, I got to shut these lights off. There we go. Got to start this tractor up down here. And I'm going to show y'all some. Let's see. This tractor started. Got a little light zone. And if you detach and pull up a little bit, you can see there it, it, it goes into the thing. And, and we're at 50,249 liters, which is 25% done. So 50,000. That's 200,000 liters that we can put in this. And uh, we still got one more left. Let's see, I'm going to detach this. 
and we can take this down to the soybean field which they are not ready anytime soon um, let's go up in here and go over turn grass on and you see that's harvest the cotton is pretty much ready um, this little section here is going to be ready before anything where it looks but all this is soybeans and this is cotton um, our grass field here is ready to mow again um, yeah but while I got you here I'm going to bring you back here in just a second we uh going to get hang on all right folks if you look uh right here bales produce this session uh is 29 trees cut down is 17 total of 431 trees time played is two hours and 41 minutes uh, and that's the total and uh yeah so 29 bales is what we got off of uh look at canola so it's not bad not bad at all yeah because uh this is the only section that i shut the motor off and uh let's see here let's count them uh well we ain't got done yet um there's one at the far end down there. Two, three, four. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Oh, and this red dot way down here is 29 uh, this one is a lot smaller as you can see it's 8 250 400 kilograms okay 400 kilograms we'll go back over here to these these supposed to be 240 that was a 220 I'm running up in a hole mm, see here 9,000 yeah a lot bigger um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing, trying to put these extra bales up on the truck. Help if I turn a flashlight on or something. Uh, do I have room on the other side? Now, the, the 240s, the auto load only load two layers. So everything past that was this, well, uh, yeah, I, I got, I put on here. Um, try to show you. Uh, yeah, this layer and that layer was auto load. I put this whole layer right here on myself. That's why it looks crooked. And I think we can haul them all like this. Just have to watch for our power lines. I think we're way under the power lines though. Just got to make sure I don't bump them off. Okay. there um but yeah um when we come back i don't know what we're going to be doing um got some stuff we might be able to sell by then i know it's going to be august the 2nd and i don't think the beans will be ready even uh, even then if they're not ready i might not uh record august the 2nd i know we do need to put some buildings down so we might do that might get the chickens and stuff where is that all the bales? That looks like them, all of them. All right, we got one way down there and then one back around here. Let's see what this thing looks like at night. It looks dark. Okay. All right. We'll go down here and get to the last bales. I'll meet y'all at Farmer's Market and then we'll call it the episode. As you can see on the mini map there on the bottom left, that little red dot. That's how we know where the bales at. That's the F12 uh, menu. So yeah. Alright folks, made it down here. And uh one thing I, I wanna say offhand, when I get ready about it, I don't think I own this spot. Let's go in here real quick. Oh, wrong one. Alright, first of all, um I'm gonna go in here. 
our sheep's doing pretty good. Yeah, they're doing pretty good on everything. Uh, let's see here. What am I looking for? I don't know what that is, but okay. Huh. Anyway, um, straw. The farmer's market for $102. About the highest there is. So, and um, August the 2nd, we got sun. September 1st, we got rain. Um, like to plant something, but I don't know what yet. I ain't decided yet. Um, I guess we need to go into this in here. Um, you can see the map there. That's a seed. Everything was standard, except for at one corner right there. It was pretty low. But right here, this orange, we yielded kind of low. So I'm curious. You know, I want to, since everything is plowed up, I got to go this, this in here. Uh, all this here is cultivated, but we got to put lime and stuff on it. We got to mow that, put lime on it. And uh, when we get the cotton done, I, I think we're going to let all the crops grow, uh, fields go, um, I forgot what they call that, uh, lean it or whatever. Anyway, let's sell these bales. Um, 530,000 where we're at now. And take the straps off so they can fall down. There they go. Oh, 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 stay in the, oh, 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 yep, 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 go, 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 and sold. $8,824 in bales, 149 environmental score, bringing us a 539, folks. Now, um, let's go over here. We're going to park right here for a second, shut everything off. Uh, we are going to go in here and we're going to go down to the bank again. Um, five million is what we're borrowed every month. Uh, either the first or the second, we pay back 50,000. So we're going to repay, uh, what, what is in, uh, let's see, I guess we'll just do it this way. Look at that. That's 50,000 right there. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and pay another. 50,000 just uh, keeping good standards so we owe 4.9 million on the loan now and I want to put in some uh, bees some more bees and some uh, production for the cotton uh, where we can uh, uh, turn our uh, cotton into sweaters and stuff like that. I can't think of what the thing is called. Alright, we got one pallet here, finally. Is that? What's another pallet? Oh, okay. I don't know what it's doing there, but... Oh, I think I started setting them out here because it's easier to take them. Um, let's see how much furniture. Alright, 5,000 liters. We got one, so... Not too much to sell, but our beans are looking pretty good. Uh, perfect on pH and nitrogen. Uh, expected yields pretty good. Uh, growth stage four of six. Narrow tars only now. So yeah. Um, oh, you can see a difference right there. This is five of six. And this is four or six. Needs rolling. Yeah, I kind of figured that since you didn't take it last time. But yeah, I think all our fields need to go bare for the winter. And we start planting first of the next year. And go from there, folks. But anyway. Uh, gotta go. It's already 36 minutes into this video. Oh my. But anyway. Folks, y'all know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're uh, new, if you like it. You don't have to. It helps me out. I'm trying to get to a thousand family members. And yeah, um, midnight harvest. Or 
Dark Harvest, whatever I decided to call this, I done forgot. But anyway, ooh, 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 yeah, they're loaded. Look at those pods on there. But anyway, folks, yeah, thanks so much for your support and love. I appreciate everything. Having to say that, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next episode.